He served in the Army for 20 years and has appeared before the North Dakota Supreme Court in his capacity as a private practice attorney. Josh Menny sat down with the Dem NPL candidate for Attorney General, Tim Lamb, who disagrees with Attorney General Drew Wrigley on practically every major aspect of the job. North Dakota Democratic Nonpartisan League candidate for Attorney General Tim Lamb joins us now. Tim, thank you for being here. It's a pleasure to be here with you, Josh. Now, Tim, you were a, a company commander for two tours in Germany. You've been a practicing attorney for over 10 years now. You have a lot of qualifications. But when you're looking at your race while you're challenging Drew Wrigley, what are the issues that you're running on? A couple issues have come up that I think are really important to North Dakotans. One is the unprecedented and historic uh, deletion of AG, Attorney General, emails. And those are uh, very troubling. And the other issue uh, would be the land grab by Bill Gates in Walsh County and whether that violates the uh, Anti-Corporate Farming Act. Drew Wrigley has released uh, statistics on violent crimes showing that the violent crime has gone up by 10.1% in over a year. Now, he's claimed that you are not necessarily troubled by these statistics. What do you say to the argument that you're not tough enough on crime? Well, I, I just don't think that's legitimate. Uh, from Drew's uh, point of view, he's uh, really uh, trying to make a grandstand on the uh, crime statistics that uh, reflect uh, not something that is uh, uh, really, it's, a, it's important, but it's on a community by community basis. And I would attack the crime uh, in our state by community and, and get it reduced by working with the local police and sheriff's department and, and really uh, trying to crack down in those areas that need it. So in other words, you're saying Attorney General Drew Wrigley is proposing a statewide uh, new law to basically lock up violent criminals for longer periods of time and decentivize them? That particular approach has been tried and it has failed. Uh, we tried it 10 years ago where we put mandatory minimums into uh, effect for crime and it really doesn't deter crime. And it actually, um, it loads up the uh, the the judicial uh, the justice system uh, from not only law enforcement but from our uh, uh, jail uh, capacity, uh, which is uh, troubling. It's not effective, and it just costs the taxpayers a lot of money. I I'm more uh, of a deterrent from uh, a mental health standpoint to try to help people through this period after COVID, the pandemic, and people are, are in, a, in a bad state of mind. You're also looking at decriminalizing marijuana, why? I think there's a, a, a lot of citizens in our state that, that use marijuana. I don't, but if, for those that do, if we decriminalize it, it's 3,500 cases a year that are prosecuted. And I talked to a criminal uh, attorney here the other day, and he, he's thinking it's, it would save us about 5,000 uh, a case, which would, we could use in other law enforcement uh, practices and enforcement. And I think that would be more prudent. Tim Lamb, thank you so much for your time. Thank you, Josh. Appreciate it. Lamb also served on the Grand Forks School Board for 15 years.